Dan Fust is vice chairman at Loomis Sales and co-manager of the Loomis Sales Bond Fund with almost $19 billion in assets. And Dan was recently named Morningstar Fixed Income Manager of the Year. Uh, he also is up for Manager of the Decade. He joins us from Boston All right now. Uh, Dan, thanks for coming on the show. Let's talk a little bit about the jobs picture before we get into a fixed income or, or maybe we can get into the results or the effects of the job numbers that we're looking at on, for on Friday on a fixed income. What do you expect to see if we, if we have a pop here, a positive number? A lot of people are predicting gains for the first time in a while. Well, that would be certainly very good news for the economy. As far as the markets, the Treasury market, uh, if there was a sell-off in anticipation of that, it was probably happening today. Uh, more specifically to the Fed minutes, I guess. But um, the, the, the speculative up and downs in the market, the rebalancing of positions, you never know. You know, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't call it fluff. It's important, but it's static. Hey, Dan, you know, our, our Tom Keen and Ken Prude over at uh, Surveillance and our radio group, you know, they talked with Bill Gross at PIMCO today, and he said the asset uh, markets in both the U.S. and the U.K. are going to suffer as the governments begin to withdraw those massive stimulus plans. Um, do you agree with that? And if so, what are the uh, concerns, implications uh, for the uh, fixed income markets in your view? Well, uh, you know, obviously you withdraw support from a market. There's a downward pressure on, on price. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> Pardon me, I was eating some candy. Uh, yeah, well, it's that time of year. It is. Uh, the, uh, as you take away the support to the Treasury market that's provided uh, by the Fed, as you withdraw these other support mechanisms, you would expect interest rates to start to adjust to what appears to be the case, which is very heavy-duty financing by the U.S. Treasury. Um, and variations of that elsewhere in the world, by the way. What, what so, you, oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Please continue. Well, uh, so you would anticipate that, you know, the Treasury yields move up somewhat. The, the very front end of the curve, uh, that uh, is where foreign buyers uh, are, aided and abetted by our own central bank. So that's a little harder to call. Uh, that's really the Fed's domain, the Fed and its friends. Uh, and if they don't let go of that, if they keep those yields there, then the long end of the Treasury curve yields back up, you know, where's the 10-year, 383. Let, let's say that budges up uh, 20 basis points. That starts to draw money in as long as people feel secure with the front end of the curve. And the only single reason to feel secure with the front end of the curve is what I call the Fred and its the Fed and, and its friends, who are essentially overseas central banks buying treasury bills. Uh, the the economy is not real real strong yet, so I don't imagine that the central bank is going to want to let go of the front end of the yield curve, at least for the time being. Dan, what if we see uh, if we see another dip in the economy? I and mean, we were talking with economist David Levy mm -hmm. yesterday. He expects a series of recessions mm -hmm. following the Great Recession that we uh, all just lived through here. Uh, and he thinks Treasuries are one place that you want to be for safety. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Now, again, this is guesswork going forward, obviously. Uh, my thought on the economy uh, as an amateur, I, I do drive our economics department crazy. And you've got but, a good track record, so you're not such an amateur. Well, uh, I've been doing it for a long time, whether I don't have professional status, however. Uh, so at any rate, uh, the economy's getting quite a boost from the inventory rebuild right now. But as you look beyond that, uh, then if things sort of go flat for a while because you don't have capital spending following on, and I would use a historical comparison, okay. not a hysterical, but a historical. Just got a few uh, seconds here. Uh, okay, look at uh, 57 to 63, shorten it by two years, and it's that type of market okay. or that type of economy. Hey, we got to run. Dan, thank you so much, and Happy You're New welcome. Year to you. Dan Fuss of Loomis Sales.